very vibrant makeup channel and I wanted to film again. Excuse that noise, I was just closing my drawer. Um, as you can see, my room is kind of a mess. I have boxes in the back right here because I'm moving. So um, yeah, I'm going to be moving to just a different apartment. Hopefully this is the last one we get because, you know, housing market in Colorado is very crazy, very expensive. So, um, and we've had to um, come from New Mexico, which is not that great at having housing market, you know, at least uh, selling houses, but, you know, because we had a house in New Mexico, but my sister took it over just because the market was so bad that uh, we would have lost money if my sister hadn't taken it over. So I appreciate that from her that she helped us out with that. And plus, she's a homeowner now. But, um, yeah, so that was three years ago almost. That's how long we've almost been here. But, um, yeah, so we're just moving to a, it's just, the rent is so incredibly high. I feel like the rent shouldn't be that high, but it is. Anyways, I know, I shouldn't be talking about all this stuff. It has nothing to do with this video, but I just want to let you guys know that that's why there will probably be a mess in my background if I do film. And I'm sorry I haven't filmed a whole lot. I just, <sighs> life gets in the way. Um... Just work. I'm preparing for an it cosmetics event coming up at my store. I have another one coming up in August. It's just a lot of things. That's what it's like to be a prestige sales manager is that you are constantly um, planning and doing a lot of stuff and uh, they changed our duties where now we have to close. So I'll be closing on once a week and which is great for me. It works for me, but there's a lot. I mean, I have a lot going on in my life, having to pack, having to deal with work, having to, you know, take care of my kids, make sure that they have a fun summer too. So I've been trying to be, you know, strong and, and helpful with them. And it's been really tough. I've had a tough couple days because of me missing my mom. But, you know, I'll have those days. That's why I wanted to come film and just refresh myself and and, and get back into what doing what I enjoy. I just realized my lips are so chapped. I'm going to put some lip balm on. Well, I do what this video is about. By the way, I need to show you my lip balm. It's a, it's a little Coca-Cola cup. I got a Fanta one, but that's in my work purse right now, so I don't feel like getting it, but it's the exact same thing, except it says Fanta on it. It's, in the, it's a strawberry, so the ice is actually, like, uh, pink. So I want to see if I can hit up another Walgreens. I bought this for, like, two bucks at Walgreens, and I wanted to hit another one to see if I can find the orange Fanta or, or, or Dr. Pepper. That would be cool. Uh, but, yeah, that's so cute. But anyways, let's get into what this video is. So what this video is about... The Naked Heat Palette by Urban Decay. I was so excited when I saw we got this in the store. And they're all up on the store right now. Every Ulta should have them up. If not, they should put it up. But we have them out um, as well at our store. And this is what the packaging looks like. It is supposed to be a very warm, coppery um, palette. The Naked series in Urban Decay is very neutral based. Um kind of like your everyday palette. Uh, the Naked One is more bronzed uh, color palettes, but it's 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 got shimmers and mattes, and it's for everyday use. Uh, the Naked Two is more taupes, and I can explain to you what each one uh, is suitable for for eye color. Um, all right, like I said, this is the packaging. Very nice, very similar to the Naked Smoky palette, and there are the colors. As you can tell, I've used it. <laughs> I've, I tried it out. I really liked it. Um, but this is not a first impressions video. This is more of like, I'm going to show you how I use it on my eyes. Um, as you can see, I haven't touched my brush yet. But the brush, it's going to be the same concept as pretty much all of them. Except this one has more of a really nice crease brush that really gets in there. And then it has also a kind of the brush that's similar it's pretty similar, yeah. It's similar to my um, Ultimate Basics one. That, I think, more is for the outer corner and blending. So, I mean, this brush is pretty nice. I just wish... Well, it's kind of translucent a little bit. Like, it, it has a little copper tinge to it when you hold it to the sunlight. But um, I really loved the design. 
of the Full Spectrum palette because it's kind of clear and also the uh, After Dark because it's very clear and then also the Naked Smoky had this little smoke effect in the middle. I love having the design of the uh, brush from, that looks similar to the packaging. So anyways, this is what the Spectrum is. Um, very warm tone, perfect for olive skin tone, perfect for uh, um, if you're fair too because I've seen it on um, one of my uh, co-workers. Uh, one of our cashiers, she has a really fair complexion and it looked amazing on her. It looks so pretty and she paired it with like Purgatory, the liquid lipstick from Urban Decay and it looked really nice. So um, I was very excited that she had gotten that and um, that's what kind of made me want to get it. But yeah, that's what it looks like. Let's go ahead and give a quick swatch of all the colors and then we're going to test it on my eyes. So I'm going to do finger swatches because I just... I want to I want to get into the eyes first because I want to see how it performs. So the first shade right here, that one is called Ounce, and it is kind of like a satin shimmer almost. So this would be perfect for like the inner corner. Then we have Chaser, which you can barely see on my skin tone, but that one is more. I actually use this color to set my primer down, and it works really nice in the crease as a transition shade. And then we have Sauced. This guy is perfect for the crease. It has a little bit of that powder effect. I don't know if you could see that on camera, but it has a little bit of kick to it. So do your foundation first, then do your um, eyeshadow. So yeah, I mean, it's a very beautiful matte and it's very creamy. The consistency is similar to my Ultimate Basics palette which I've transferred to a makeup kit that I'm starting up so that I can do makeup on my friends for fun because um, I don't use it as much anymore. So let me get the next two col three colors. So the next three colors, the first one is Low Blow. So this is more of that neutral, like camel color. It's a little bit darker than Sauced, and it's also perfect for the crease. Very creamy. Had a little bit of kick, but not bad. The next shade is very, very powdery. You can see it on my finger, but um, that's Lumbre. I'm pressing really hard so I don't get that much fallout. But that's Lumbre right there. It's a beautiful coppery rose gold. So pretty and I like putting it on my inner corner or even on the beginning of my lid so that I can get that perfect open eye effect. The next shade is He Devil. And that's a beautiful burnt brown. Alright, so the next shade is Dirty Talk which is, well, it's just beautiful. It is a beautiful copper metallic. The next shade is Scorched, which is probably everyone's favorite, and it seemed to be at my store. It's almost, it's got a lot of kick to it though. It's got some micro glitters to it, very, very little, but it is more of a pinkier version of Dirty Talk, because Dirty Talk is very coppery, and this one's more of like that reddish color, um, but it's really pretty. Uh, cayenne. There's cayenne. That one has a little bit of uh, kick and patchiness, but when you blend it, it looks a lot better. See, when I blended it with my finger, it looked a lot better. But, I mean, look, I still have some on my fingers. It's very, They're very pigmented, super beautiful, and um, the, they're very creamy. So, uh, the next shade is En Fuego, which is a lot drier formula but it still swatches. You can still see the copper on my hand, but it still swatches pretty nice, but it is a lot drier, I find. The darker colors are drier. And then Ashes, same consistency, pretty dry. It doesn't swatch that well. It's at least like when I put it on my outer corner one day, I had to build it and build it and build it to make it dark. I wish it had a lot darker shades, like a almost like a golden black. That would have been really nice because it'd be kind of like a, a burnt shade and it would gone so perfect with this palette so I wish they did that but that's the darkest shade in the palette it you have to really build it to make it dark enough to add a contour to your eye and the last shade is ember which is a the darkest metallic shade and it's gorgeous this is my favorite shade it's like that beautiful bronzy 
um, liquid brown. That's what I like. It's a dark liquidy brown. So um, those are the swatches for the palette. Now let's get into it on my eyes. Excuse my um, makeup. It's a little, it's my day off. <laughs> so I don't feel like really messing with my concealer and stuff. So I'm going to use actually the Ulta Beauty Nude Matte Eyeshadow Primer, which is really good. It's similar to the Urban Decay uh, eyeshadow primers, but it's a little bit, oops, sorry about the, it's a little bit more liquidy. So I'm going to put this all over my eyelids. To prime my eyes. And I like to pat it in because it, it has a sticky consistency. Almost like a silky sticky consistency. Like you have a tiny bit of tack but it feels really smooth on the eyes. Does that make sense? Alright, so eyelids are primed. Alright, now I'm going to go in with Chaser which is this color right here. And I'm going to set my primer. I do this because my eyelids are so oily. I have to kind of set my primer. And see, it doesn't really distort the color of my eyes. And it's not as white as my other ones. So that's why I like using this to set my primer. Because it's really close to my actual skin color. Alright. Now I want to use a crease. And this does have a crease brush on it. Uh, so a crease color I'd probably go with, I think I'm going to go with Low Blow, which is this one right here. And I want to do a smoky eye. Just because I tried an open eye, like a contoured one with the darker colors in the outer corner, and then um, brighter colors in the inner corner, and I really liked it, but I wanted to try a smoky look because I hadn't done that yet. Make sure you tap off the excess, because these are pigmented. Do you see that? This is Low Blow. And that was from tapping off the excess. As you can see, very pigmented. So I always like to make sure my crease is well blended. And I'll go in with a clean blending brush. This is my Avon blending brush. It's a crease brush that I bought from Avon years ago when I used to sell it. And I'm just blending out the edges. So I feel like I need to kind of highlight my brow bone, so I'm going to get, um, what is it, Ounce, which is the lightest shade in the palette. And I'm going to go ahead and highlight my brow bone, and I'm using my Naked 3 um, brush, because it has that flat brush, to really get in the brow bone area. Excuse my brows, I need to get them waxed, or at least try it, because I need to kind of speak for my arch experts. Um, at my store and I've never waxed my brows before so I'm trying to grow these out so that I can do that. Alright, then I'm going to go in with, oh and it did have some fallout. I'm going to go in, now I'll use that same brush, I'll just clean it off, and go in with Ember which is the darkest shade, this guy right here. I've been wanting to use it all over my lid because it looks beautiful. Wow. It reminds me of a newer single shade that they have. So if you just like this shade, they do have one. And I compared it in my store. So similar. It's, um, gosh, what is it called? It's the newer shade from their eyeshadow singles. It's, I'll, I'll look it up and I'll, I'll link that down below where you can find it. And if you just like this color in the palette, you don't want to buy the whole palette then that one is very, very similar. However, they don't really have any coppery tones in their eyeshadow singles as much as like golds, like they have like half-baked and all that. Those ones are really good for singles. I'm going to take low blow again and buff out those edges. But do you see how beautiful that color is? Oh, it's so beautiful. I feel like I want to warm up the look a little bit, so I'm going to actually take um, He Devil right here and add that to the crease. 
least above my crease because I have to blow out my crease a little bit because that's just the look I like. See how it like in person it doesn't look that orange but it actually on camera it looks a lot oranger but it's so pretty. So I'm going to go in with my clean blending brush and just buff out the edges. And I'll take a little bit of sauce to blur those edges a little more. And I always like to take my um, crease a little higher just because, like, it just looks nice. I don't know, I just like it that high. So I need to take another clean blending brush because I kind of dirtied that one. And just blend out those edges. All right, so I do need to kind of add a little bit more of ember just to touch up those edges that I had buffed out. I'm going on very lightly. I do have some fallout right there. So I need to get my brush, my tart brush. I'm just gonna sweep those away. All right, and now I'm gonna go for the lower lash line. For the lower lash line, I kind of want to take my little smudger brush from the Urban Decay Naked Basics palette, Ultimate Basics palette, and I'm going to get Scorched. So that one right there. It's a very popular shade. And I'm going to put that right underneath. That's really pretty. Don't worry, I'm gonna buff it out. All right, I'm gonna use the other end of that same brush and I'm actually gonna get into uh, Cayenne, which is that shade right there. And buff out those edges. I know I take my edges so do uh, down <laughs> under my eyes, but I like that blown out look. Wow, it's so pretty. I feel like there's a disconnect between the top and the bottom, so I'm gonna take a little bit of He Devil on my Luxie brush and just kind of marry the two by adding that on the outer corner right here. I'm blending it upward. I'm just kind of marrying the two. I know this is extremely blown out, but I want it to be that way. <laughs> you know what I mean? I just want it to be that way. And then I'll take a clean blending brush and I'm going to get Chaser so that I can really get in there and buff out those edges a lot more. going around the orbital bone. Oh my gosh, what a... Oh. I know it looks really choppy on camera, but it really is well blended in person, I promise you. It's very blown out, but I want that blown out look. And now I'm gonna add an inner corner highlight. I'm gonna get my uh, After Dark, and I'm gonna dip into lum Lumber? Lumbre. Lumbre, right here, that rose gold and add it to my inner corner. I feel like it's, it's beautiful, but I really need to brighten it more. So I'm gonna wipe it off and take a little bit of ounce, that light color that I put on my brow bone, and put it on top to really brighten it out doesn't take away from what the color is, it just kind of brightens it a lot more. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, finish my eyes off camera by putting some liner and I still have my Lord and Berry liner, you've seen it in a lot of videos, and then I'm going to actually finish my eyes off with my Lancome um, Grandiose. Alright, so this is the completed look. I just have a gloss on right now because uh, my lips are so chapped. Sorry, I'm just fixing my gloss. It looked a little weird. But yeah, I mean, overall, the palette did perform pretty well. I was actually pretty impressed with how it looks. 
on camera it looks oranger than it does in person so i love 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 amber that is my favorite color out of all of them and i'll give you a close-up of what it looks like so that's what it looks like up close Um, the only thing that I can think of that is very warm, that is similar, but not quite, has actually more reds in it, um, is the Huda palette, and I'll put them side by side. I mean, this one has a black, and it has a pink, and it has a cranberry, you know, like a red, red tone. See, this is more orangey coppers, and I like that. Um, I think I might be able to pair them up together really nice. Um... Other than that, I'm trying to see what else I have that's warm tone besides my, I think, or like a coppery tone. This is the only one I have is uh, the Juvia's Place uh, Nubian One palette. And this one's very, very pretty, but it's more coppery color than um, like say Scorched or Dirty Talk. I'll put them side by side. As you can see, Dirty Talk is on top. That one is more uh, of a pinky copper and then this is more of that true copper from Juvia's Place. So if you have the Nubian one, um, the Nubian one palette, it, it's got more darker tones in it so you can play with the coppers a little bit more, but I really, really enjoy this palette. I actually don't have a shade quite like this one. I mean, I've looked in all of my palettes and I haven't really found you. So far, so good. It's very pretty. I can use it every day. I can use this blown out look for work. It's really nice. Mm, I probably will be creating an everyday um, uh, look with this palette so you can see how I use it every day because this is not an everyday look. This is actually very blown out and very dramatic, but I really like the fact that it looks like that because it's very pretty. Um, this is just what I go for. But if you want to see more of a natural look to it, then I would probably do a tutorial on that if you request it. So thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you guys uh, being patient with me and my channel. I'm a very busy person. I work full time. I have kids. I have a lot of things going on in my life. Um, some difficulties, some good things. You know, it's just a lot at once so that's why I've been filming very rarely just because it's it's very hard for me to do so but anyways thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video bye